We are survivors of the war. Banded together in huge convoys, we search the frozen tundra for food and supplies. My convoy is called Yukon. I started training with a simulator to get the hang of the combat suit, the greatest military toy since gunpowder. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 4,213 miles north of the anomaly. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, this is Colonel Ellen Bolt, commander of Convoy Yukon. I'll be the one who's training you. I need you to be in full command of the Special Mission Unit. Let's get started, Lynx. This is your tactical map. On it, and only on it, you can choose your squad's path. You start here, near the three training towers. You can change your squad's route on each crossroad. To do that, just click on an arrow until it turns the way you need. Now, plan a route that leads you to the safe zone. There are two ways to plan a route for your squad in tactical view. Left-click arrows on crossroads to change the path for the squad. Left-click an empty crossroad to set a path to it. Good. The simulation starts now. These are the Assault Hounds, the pride of the convoy. Assault Hounds start with a slow fire rate and minor damage capability. But if they keep firing, their rate of fire increases. To inflict more damage, keep your squad firing. indicator over the assault hound displays its firepower. This is the tech analysis of the vehicle. The assault hound has considerable firepower and good range. Its rate of fire increases when firing and reaches maximum power after 12 seconds. Its cannons cool down quickly though, so you should constantly keep enemies in its path. The unit's rate of fire should be considered high. Keep alert, the situation changed. Now the towers are hiding between buildings on both sides of the road. I strongly suggest you morph your squad into hellhounds. This is the hellhound designed for urban warfare. It's equipped with two independent flamethrowers. There you have it. Hellhounds are effective in close quarters combat.
Designed for urban warfare, the Hellhound is heavily armored and equipped with two independent flamethrowers with a high rate of fire. The flamethrowers can set towers on fire and give additional damage as they burn. Flamethrowers get more effective over time and warm up quickly. We're catching some heat out here in the real world, but we got it covered. Focus on your training. You're coming up to a fork in the road. Which route the squad takes is all up to you. You can change your squad's path now. Remember, you can morph your units into different forms whenever you need to. Although you may want to destroy all the towers, it's not always necessary for the success of your mission. job. This part of your training is finished. We received a distress signal coming from New York. The signal was sent by Dr. Xander, a scientist in possession of Project Shockwave. Yukon's on a direct route to the Big Apple and I'm still in the simulator. There's no saying how much time is left for training. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,827 miles north of the anomaly. This is Karasarum. It's a rare element that we use to buy and upgrade combat units. Karasarum is our main resource for producing and upgrading units. You can discover it on the ground or receive it when you destroy an enemy tower. We also mastered the ability to recycle it from our own units. It's in your best interest to pick up as much Karasarum as you can. To do that, you need to set up your squad first. Purchase two Assault Hound units. Bear in mind, you can always gain Karosarum by selling units. Now advance.
One more thing, Lieutenant. Here's how you change formations. Good. Begin collecting Karosarum. a firefight. Enemy was neutralized, but the simulator got banged up. It's still online, so let's keep going. You can use Karasarum to improve your unit's armor, firepower, and more. Try it now. Now head for the exit, Lynx. necessary resources. Time is running out and New York's on the horizon. Combat suit's like a second skin to me now, but I still have some time to hone my skills in the safety of the simulator. Outside, the never-ending winter pounds us harder than ever. The machines hoped it would kill us off, but we refused to die. Every day brings us closer to New York, to Xander, to Project Shockwave, to our revenge. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,592 miles north of the anomaly. I saved the toughest part of your training for last. To get to the safe zone, you'll have to break through the towers called behemoths. The behemoth is a slow, heavily armored tower that wreaks havoc across a wide area. Basically, your worst nightmare. Here's important data on the enemy machine. This heavily armored tower attacks with powerful shock pulses that can damage several units within a certain range. The behemoth's only weakness is its sluggishness. There's a trick that could save your skin when you run into the behemoth. We'll get to that later. Now configure your squad.
Let's get cracking. The trick I told you about before is called the decoy. It draws enemy fire to itself. Decoy ability is online. Now use it on the behemoth. Remember to deploy it as far as you can from the troops. When that behemoth lets loose its shockwave, you don't want to be close to it. Not bad. Here's the tech analysis on the decoy. Yeah. The decoy ability draws fire from towers within a certain range. It will continue until it discharges or is destroyed. Focus on your training. The end of your training is coming up. Keep moving.